Welcome to the playoffs of the Pacific Northwest District Championship here in the Veterans Coliseum in Portland. Our first 15 seconds, as always, of this match begin as they all do in crescendo with pre-programmed autonomous instructions and your two alliances keeping it fairly neck and neck throughout that autonomous period so far. Just five points, one speaker note separate your two alliances as they now take the helm. Red Alliance, with that slight lead, they'll head over towards their amp they already have notes loaded up in each of those machines, and Jack and the Bot is already on their second cycle offensively over on that Red Alliance side, lining up with the subwoofer and pelting the speaker for two points of Alliance score. Their Alliance partners were building up the amplification bonus opportunity by scoring notes in that lower goal in the amp. Blue Alliance did that as well and actually took the opportunity to amplify their speaker they were able to capitalize on that and very briefly take a lead over there on the Blue Alliance side of the field. Five points per note scored in the speaker during the amplification period. Now the Red Alliance bringing out the defense. That's our machine of ramen robotics from Bellevue hanging out in blue turf and not just for their Red Alliance source. They will make themselves absolutely at home and get their parking permit for in front of that Blue Alliance subwoofer. Now back to the wall, back to the source for blue. That's ORF from Olympia. The 4450 Star Trek theme machine makes its way over stage right and now looks for a scoring opportunity, although it doesn't appear that they connected on that cycle. We'll see how that one shakes out. They do lead, however, as an alliance by 11 points. 50 seconds left to play. Bare metal, Jack in the bot under the red stage. Jack picks up two with the speaker note that they scored. The second one they lobbed off and they're going to have to rebound that one. Bare metal comes in continues the cycle. Five-pointer there as they hit the amplification bonus right as the note hits the back of the Lexan. Jack and the bot in, and now we'll just parry back and forth on that Red Alliance side. They're looking to make up an eight-point deficit now. Robot disconnected in blue turf. That's the revolution. Stuck near the stage as our endgame rift sounds. ORF heavy hit with Ramen on the way out. Ramen looking to find the Red Alliance stage. They'll go center stage. For the Red Alliance, airborne, three points, looking potentially at a trap with that note stuck in the robot. Just a few seconds left in the match. One blue robot up, that's ORF to match Ramen. A nail biter the whole way through, and will we have the 8v1 upset to start our upper bracket? That's been a mainstay of Northwest events so far this year. We'll get a final score to you just as soon as we can. The scores are in for our first playoff match here in Portland. That's gonna be your number eight alliance in blue, staying in that upper bracket, 112 to 101. We'll see them again in match number seven, yet another eight alliance upset in the Northwest this year. And the Red Alliance has one more chance to stick around and go onwards. We'll see them in match five in just a little while. Brett, that was, if we have to have any I think we're back online. Yep, Josh, we're back. We had a heck of a first match there. Outstanding, always great to see an upset and exciting at the district championships. We talked all week about the level of play being stepped up.
And what I want to do for this first match is I want to go to some data from our friends at ZebraWorks. We're going to bring up the Zebra data from this match. This is a lot to take in, but the big thing I want to draw your attention to right here, notice how clean the lines are for the Blue Alliance, specifically 3663 CPR. That is this machine right here. You see those light blue lines throughout. CPR just wearing a hole in the carpet along those two routes back and forth. And compare that to the Red Alliance that's just a little bit messier kind of down here in front of their stage. They had a little bit harder time lining up, a little bit harder time coordinating on their spots, whereas for the Blue Alliance, they were able to just go to the spot, shoot, go to the spot, shoot, go to the spot, shoot. Now, in the end, of course, the Red Alliance did outscore the Blue on speaker points, but you got to remember 360 was down for the last half of that match. So what this data is telling us is one possible story about having a clear path to and from your preferred shooting location can pick up those couple of fractions of a second on every cycle and knowing what that shooting location is and being able to go there every time. We'll see how that plays out the rest of the day. Utmost communication, utmost importance at the drive station and some communication from our field. We're gonna turn it back over to our MCs, Natalie and Emerald, to get ready for a playoffs match two. All right, thanks Josh and Brett. So on the field, we have Alliance 4 in red.